My name is Stefan Friedrichsdorf. I'm the medical director of the Pain and Palliative Care program here at the Children's Hospitals and Clinics of Minnesota in Minneapolis and St. Paul. As the Pain and Palliative Care program, we do two things. Number one, we take pain away. Number two, we care for children during the end of life period. 25 years ago, there was a little boy by the name of Jeffrey Lawson, and he was operated on in 1985 on a severe heart defect just a few days after his birth. Unfortunately, he died a few days later. And to the horror of his mother, when she reviewed the medical literature, she found that her little son was operated on without any pain medication and without any analgesia and anesthesia, meaning that, in fact, he was only um, uh, muscle relaxed, so he was not able to move a single thing, but was fully awake, awake during this operation. As a result of this, things have changed significantly. But still many doctors and nurses um, are educated in the 1980s and 1990s and still do not use the um, latest improvements and management of pain yet. So our job as a pain service is to make sure that every single child within our hospital gets the best pain management possible. And this combines good um, pharmacology, meaning drugs, with integrative non-pharmacological treatment modalities such as massage or hypnosis um, or acupuncture. In end of life, we need to make sure if the worst is happening, if a child is dying, that we provide the very best care for this child and the family. And sometimes it's very little things. A few months ago, I went to, into our intensive care unit and I went to a little mother, oh, sorry, I went to a mother and um, asked her, what are you hoping for? looking at her five-month-old child who was intubated and has been on the intensive care unit for many months. And she said, I wish I could hold my baby once like this. I looked at the nurse and she told, and I asked her, how long would it take us to do that? And she said, 30 seconds. So within a few seconds, we were able, that mum was actually able to hold her baby like this, just above her shoulder. So sometimes it's little things. Sometimes it's big things, like us taking um, pain away. So as a palliative care program, we are the largest of its kind in North America. We care for 80 to 90 children at any given day and end of, at end of life. And we need to provide the best pain and symptom management possible. The kind of service we do, unfortunately, is not reimbursed by health insurers. Meaning, the only way we can actually provide the very best pain management and provide care for children at end of life means that we are um, in, in dire straits we're in need of um, philanthropy, of donors like you who are actually helping us to run our program. So I thank you very much for considering um, donating to um, our program and by supporting um, this amazing um, bike race through the state of Minnesota. Thank you.